Damien here from the Self Defense Company, and now we're gonna pick up where we left off with our last video with the drop step and the edge of hand. We're gonna do the forward drive. And together, with the edge of hand, heel of hand, and your core combative striking drills, drills, core combative striking techniques, you're gonna be able to control those pillars of self-defense, that is momentum and balance. All right, so we're lined up, you got your position of advantage, right? He's moving into me, I'm here, I'm moving, I'm taking ground, okay? What makes this great, besides keeping him off balance, all right, him moving back, if you're moving back, you cannot hit effectively, you can't stab effectively, you can't bludgeon effectively, you can't even shoot a firearm that effectively, you know, yeah, you got a chance of hitting what you're aiming for, but in reality, you know, you've got to, you know, he's moving into me, I have a, a firearm. Let's say it's, it's if I have a firearm and it's in a holster and this fight goes and he goes at me, I'm done. You are done like dinner. So, you know, unless you have it out, you know, forget it. All right. So, you know, if you're gonna, firearms are great. Don't get me wrong, but you know, if it's in a holster and we're this close, you are doing shit. So. We're taking ground, we're doing a forward drive. What's, what do you notice about the area we're in other than I got some of my kids with? Uh, the, what, what you have is you've got crap to trip over. So you're driving someone back. Look around you right now, wherever you are. You're driving someone backward, they're gonna hit a desk, they'll hit a chair, there'll be a change of elevation. Okay, you're gonna get something that's gonna trip them up and they're going down. Okay, and then, you know, at that point, you, you know, do what you feel comfortable with. If there's still a threat, you deal with it. If you can escape, you deal with that. I mean, the forward drive combined with the drop step and the edge of hand and those other core combat techniques that you're going to discover, you know, lights out, baby. Lights out. So again, we line up on at our position of advantage. We are far enough away from them where in order for them to hit us, stab us, bludgeon us, they got to shift their weight. Remember, we're lining up on that axis right where that center line from the top of their head to the floor and intersects with the line right between their feet. So right there is your X marks the spot. And everything you do drives towards that point of attack. When we move in, our chin is down, our elbow is up, we are driving. If the edge of hand is giving you a problem, use the uh, hammer fist. Right, up, elbow up, chin down, head presentation, the whole bit. We are dropping below their shoulder line. Remember, if you are a, a little taller or shorter than them, you'll be able to do it. If you're taller, you're going to use your reach. We covered that in the edge of hand video that's back a few, or back one. So now, our forward drive drill. Originally, we're doing the drop step. You were setting up. You were dropping, contact, boom. Remember, lead with speed, follow with power. The first technique is just to shift the momentum. Okay, you're protected, you're covered, you're dropping down, moving into him. Remember, he's got, a, he's got the X marks the spot. His target is here. When you move the target in, he can't make the adjustment. So whatever stab, slash, even if he's got a firearm and he's aiming he and he goes to aim here, you're gonna be off your mark. Right? So we are constantly moving and taking ground, and this is important. So make a note. Always be where he is standing. So we're here, we are constantly moving in. So in order to practice this, if you have a partner, great. Make sure your partner's always moving back. If you don't, no problem. We're gonna get our position of advantage. We're gonna take one step back. Now we're gonna just drop in. We're gonna take our original drop step, and then we're gonna take that follow-up attack and really bring the wood. So we're here. More here. Remember, stopping your feet. Moving in, taking ground, moving through him. Practice both sides. We can even practice here. Turn, oh! 
use multiple positions. Remember, he can only be in front of me, on my right, on my left, or behind me. That's it. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, give a subscribe and a notification if you haven't already, and we'll let you know when we send our next video, when we post our next video. Also, as always, a lot of free stuff down below. I think we got our free report, a couple free videos down there. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and until next time, this is Damien. Train honestly.